Dave Rubin is the token gay conservative who gets paid by right-wingers to essentially tell them that their homophobic views are perfectly valid and definitely not bigoted, and that's his whole shtick. That's why they pay him the big bucks. He, as a gay man, uses his gay identity to legitimize homophobia, and his whole shtick is that actually right-wingers aren't bigoted against gay people, contrary to popular belief. They're the most tolerant and open-minded. I would know. I am a gay man, and I talk to conservatives, and they seem perfectly accepting of me. Except we know that that's not true, and Dave Rubin only LARPs as a conservative because he values money over his own dignity. Now, he made an announcement that him and his husband are having two kids, two babies, in fact, and his fans gave him a brutal reality check, reminding him that they're not as tolerant as he's paid to say they are. Now, I couldn't actually see the announcement because Dave Rubin has had me blocked for years. Not a fan of me. But thankfully, No Nothing TV screenshotted it for all of us behind the block, saying, I never thought leopards would eat my face. Sobs man who voted for the leopards eating people's faces party. Now, uh, No Nothing juxtaposes this announcement of the two babies with the response from his conservative audience. And as you are going to see, they ruthlessly condemn him for this. And it is brutal. So this person says, don't call yourself a conservative if you celebrate this. How is this not illegal? How is this dude conservative? This ain't it, chief. Feel bad for the kids. Dave, I love you, brother, but not this. Do what you want, but a child needs a mother and a father. How is this okay? Wow, never knew renting a woman's womb was checks notes conservative. Now, what I find entertaining about this is the fact that so many conservatives are denouncing the commodification of a woman's womb. Aren't you all capitalists? I mean, this is this is capitalism. I, I don't I don't know I don't know what else to say about that. But that's just kind of the response from some of the people who tune into him, and many of them let him know that they're this is it. This is kind of a bridge too far for them. But there were some prominent conservatives who responded in a very very disgusting way. Milo Yiannopoulos, for example, supposed quote ex gay. And a guest on the Rubin Report, I believe they were friends at one point, chimed in saying, disgusting, they should both be executed. Let's just pause for a moment. The reaction here to him celebrating this pivotal moment in his life, becoming a father, is you should be executed. Still think that the conservatives are more tolerant and open-minded, Dave? I've got more for you. Mark Dice chimes in saying, This is horrifying. Buying women's eggs and then renting other women's wombs to grow, quote, their children who will be deprived of their mothers and instead forced to be raised by two gay men as, quote, theirs. Any Christian or conservative congratulating them is just as bad as the Marxists. You have Denise McAllister saying, To purposely deny a child his or her mother to gratify your need to fill the empty void within caused by your sin and to construct a false family because you have rejected God's holy means to create a real family is nothing less than child abuse. I pray for your repentance. Jason Robert says, this is really disgusting. Having a Lux baby is not it. No respect for this from me. This person simply calls it human trafficking. This person says, sorry, man, here is where we part ways. And the hate continues. It goes on and on, and it is uncomfortable to read. Um, as bad as a person as Dave Rubin is, I honestly started to feel bad for him. But then I reminded myself, you don't really have to feel bad because this is the life that he chose for himself. This is him laying in the bed that he made for himself. Again, he chose money over his own dignity and I'm sorry, he deserves this. This is what he gets. Now, to be absolutely fair here, not all conservatives were against this. You had some individuals like Megyn Kelly, uh, Megan McCain, Prager U, The Blaze TV chiming in to congratulate him. But overall, by and large, overwhelmingly, most people condemned this and were disgusted by it. Or they thought that, you know, him choosing to not adopt was also something that was uh, bad. So, yeah. Uh, Dave... I'd love to hear an update on who you believe is still more tolerant. Are you still going to argue that right-wingers are more tolerant than the left and liberals? This is your fan base, Dave. These are people who know you, who followed you for years, and yet they're saying that you're disgusting. They're calling you a human trafficker and a child abuser, Dave. 
And this comes at a happy time in your life, but they're not happy for you. They think that you're disgusting. They think that you shouldn't even be married, let alone have children. So, I mean, look, nobody deserves homophobia, but if I had to pick one person, Dave Rubin is probably deserving of it at least a little bit, right? Because what he has done is so disgusting. He has hurt the gay community by trying to legitimize homophobia, by trying to argue that they're actually tolerant. He should have challenged their homophobic beliefs, but instead, he doesn't. He gives Trump Jr. permission to call him the f -slur. He time and again will do apologia for conservatives and pretend as if it's actually the left who's intolerant. No, Dave. Who's the intolerant one now? I really want to know. Give us an update, Dave. Do you still stand by what you said in that PragerU video, which you were probably paid for? Do you still stand by that after your entire fan base is calling you a degenerate? I just, as a gay man myself, there's no amount of money I would sell out for to do that to myself, to subject myself to homophobic abuse for the foreseeable future, for as long as you want to have a career, to subject my husband to that and children to that. I mean, I'd never want to have children, but if I did want to have kids, my audience, since they're not psychopathic homophobes, would be happy for me. But your audience is not happy for you, Dave, because they hate you. You're useful to them insofar as you tell them that it's perfectly acceptable for them to feel homophobia. You're useful to them insofar as you validate their beliefs when they say that we should take away rights from the LGBTQ plus community. But when it comes to you sharing your life with them, they don't care. They don't want to hear about it. If it's out of sight, out of mind, that's fine. But when you start sharing things like this, that's when you've gone too far. That's when they just can't accept this, Dave. So it's really pathetic and sad that he doesn't just come out and renounce his conservative fan base or renounce everything that he said. But I mean, apparently to him, he just values the money that he gets shilling for right-wingers. I don't know how... He lives with himself. I genuinely could not do this. I couldn't do it. Money to me is not that important. I'd rather have my dignity. I'd rather surround myself with people who actually think that I'm equal to them. I'm a normal human being just like they are, but not Dave Rubin. Dave Rubin thinks, you know what? I want a mansion. I want a luxury car. So I'm going to shill for them. I'm going to say what they want. I'm going to LARP as a conservative and be the, the token gay conservative. Be their useful idiot because that's what makes me happy. Money. Now, it may make me feel like shit when I see these responses, but um, I'll just comfort myself with money. I honestly, I know this is probably mean, but I hope he reads the comments and I hope it hurts his feelings. I hope that he genuinely reflects what he has done, not just to himself, but to the gay community overall. It's just he is such a bad person, such a gross person that I, I can't feel bad for him at all. Again, it's like, you know, you vote for the leopards eating my face party and then you act surprised when leopards eat your face. You asked for this. You made your bed, now lie in it. Now, because there is so much evidence with Dave Rubin that conservatives are not actually the tolerant ones, I've decided to put together a mini documentary to kind of uh, demonstrate how sad and pathetic Dave Rubin's life is. So uh, I will leave you with this. I can tell you that in the last few years of my political evolution, I've consistently found conservatives to be tolerant and open-minded. Don't take my word for it, though. Test it out for yourself. Go talk to some. You know what I found out? The right, much more than the left, believes in the notion of live and let live. <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is the true definition of tolerance. Will you bake Ruben a wedding cake? The answer is no. Dave Ruben is gay? I did not know I was in his presence. I didn't know. I shook his hand. Ah, I sat down with him. <laughs> Right here, right here, right here, right, right, right here.